all welcome to infinite realms and this time we're going to review some of the uh whiz kids nolzars unpainted miniatures and uh it's a good good grouping of them today um they're going to be interesting so let's get started okay to start off we'll start with the crawling claws this is uh you know one of those classic D, &D things it's a, you know think thing from adam's family only a bit more sinister less comedic that is at essence what a crawling claw is um yeah you know they can jump up and grab your neck and choke you and uh, do do very basic tasks um but these are fun and yeah, they're so small of course um yeah i know i'm gonna probably paint them up in something you know a little more bluish and uh some flesh tone over top maybe and then something else over top and uh, just you know give them that necrotic feel so uh crawling craw claws are interesting um i'll give them four and a half stars but just because you know they really kind of rock next up is the ogre zombie i really like this one and um you know the 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 sculpt is really good it, you can tell it's an ogre obviously I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one. I'm going to go for a lighter color. And, you know, ogres to me, in general, are uh, green. I'm going to run with a lighter color here. And uh, probably a little closer to bone. And then uh, do some green on the uh, muscle sticking out. Um, I love the spiky mace. That looks so cool. It is really awesome. Um, I gotta give that one four stars too. That four and a half stars. I mean, sorry. Uh, that's just really cool. I like it a lot. And next is the Noel Nashers. These are, yeah, you know, they're they're, they're what they are. <laughs> okay. Uh, Noel and Noel Flesh Noller, I should say. Um, they're Noels. Um, Really, I mean, that's all you need to say is they're gnolls. And they're, they're good for what they are, don't get me wrong. I'll give them about four stars. But, you know, I, I just really grabbed them because I uh, just needed some more gnolls, really. I mean, what else can I say? Um, I think I might be getting towards the end of my gnolls, though. That might, be, uh, that might be the end of it right there. Next up is one I really like, the Elune and the Intellect of Power. I love the Intellect of Power. That is awesome. I, I like, the Elune is just kind of like a undead, um, undead Mind Flayer, except, you know, it's undead because it just doesn't want to die. It's pure will. So, that's kind of nifty. Um, it makes it kind of a scary monster. Um, I think I'm going to go with some purples in the Elune and then some blacks. Um, then um you know intellect of our um and purple legs i gotta do the purple legs that's from most second edition D, &D. I mean, come on um and of course you know pink for the uh, brains brains oh yeah we're back to brains aren't we Okay, and then next up is the Nightwalker. Basically, a giant made out of made out of negative material plane. And that's it. That's the simplest explanation. I know I'm going to do some blue on the little smoky tendrils that are coming off of him, but I'm. I keep thinking there's got to be something I can do. To, he can't be all black because I, I see that and it's just like bleh. You know, I don't like the palette. I mean, it just doesn't work for me. I think some gray needs to be in there. I do know if I put too light of gray, it's going to look awful. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do that. I haven't decided yet. So it's a good figure, though. I mean, I like it. It's big. It's imposing. Um, I know they did one painted in one of the uh, one of the uh, blind packaging sets. I don't know which one. I much prefer this. I can kind of paint it up myself and decide what I want. It's a good figure. I like it. 
and I'm going four and a half stars on this one this is pretty decent And then finally, at last, a Storm Giant, a respectable Storm Giant. I like this Storm Giant. The lightning coming off him is just fantastic. The sword is so cool. I've got a ton of ideas for this guy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I, I'm going to do it. and just I'm just going to start tackling it and doing it. Um, much brighter colors than what we show on the back of the box, I'm thinking. And just really show off this guy's mold and the, and the cool design that he has it's just a very very cool design i love it um it's five stars on this one it's it's fantastic so this one has been sitting on the back burner for a while i had to audio recorded uh let me let me actually go through some things uh, i have painted the storm giant at this point like i said that audio is old audio um, I have painted the Storm Giant at this point. A um, lot brighter blues and um, silvers that, than what is uh, shown on the back of the box. Uh, I gotta say. I did lighten up the Nightwalker a lot with uh, some, you know, dark but not too dark gray. Um, gave him some highlights. Really showed through really well. Uh, the blue, and then the blue I did on those tendrils in the back turned out really great. Um, those are the major things I was going to mention just because uh, like I said this came out uh, differently than uh, I originally intended into and uh, they look nice if you want to take a look at them my the link to my Facebook where my uh, I paint my painted miniatures uh, are displayed is below I am NOT the greatest painter in the world I have never tried to claim to be you can go ahead and uh, check it out there you can find me on Instagram too. Look down in the link, look down in the description to get my Instagram profile. I post there as well. Uh, that's most of what I post on my Instagram, and then updates to you know, to the channel, of course, is what I mostly and I have occasionally a cute little picture of my daughter, just because you know, I'm proud dad. And uh, those things, I mean, if you really want to look at these things and see what I did, go ahead. But uh, anyway, like I said, this one has been on the back burner. I recorded auto and totally forgot I recorded it. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to come back to give it a give it a slight tail ending here just to let you know that yeah these guys got done and they, they turned out really good I really am proud of the storm giant too uh, the storm giant is probably one of my favorite painted ones in a long time for much brighter colors but nothing wrong with that anyway thank you for watching infinite realms don't forget to like and subscribe